comrade and friend Nah. I love you so, so much, and I'm proud of you. So y'all going to hear a few words from them. Let me see if I can get my big ass up here. <laughs> Let's go, Nah. I know it's, it's Matt Darrow up here. Let's go, Nah. It's a lot of people out here. I haven't seen these numbers since 2020 when George Floyd was brutally murdered. And then we see similar numbers for Kyle Rittenhouse's case. And now we're back outside again because another black body was brutally murdered. Y'all see the y'all see the pattern? Yeah. Right? And I understand that we are all moved. We all have that itch that we just we just need to scratch when we see our siblings being murdered, right? That's why we're all outside. But this can't keep happening, y'all. Not just police brutality, but reactions. We cannot keep being reactionary. We cannot keep being reactionary. Right? We need to respond. There's a difference. We need to be responsive. We need to think thoroughly about what we are going to do to tear down the system called capitalism. Yeah. Right? Because if you are not outside to destroy capitalism, then you are outside for no reason. Truthfully. Because at the core of this fight is class struggle. Class struggle. Class struggle. Class struggle. What does that mean? That means that the poor people get the brunt of everything. All of us, black, white, everything in between. All of us, working class people. You cannot destroy racism without destroying capitalism. Twenty twenty, twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two. I was outside for real. Yeah. I was outside for real. And it almost cost me six months in Rikers. Mm. Right? The whole twenty twenty two, I was depressed. I was not talking to my friends. I was not showering. I was not cleaning my room. And it felt like I was putting my life on the line for nothing because I do not see sustainability. I'm tired of fighting and feeling like I'm doing it for nothing, aren't y'all? Yes. Right, so how do we come together, truly come together, in community and plan and talk so that we can continue to not just protest, but to do teachings and educate our people, right? And to organize so that we can have our people in adequate housing, NYCHA is bullshit. Yeah. Right? All of this is Black Lives Matter. All of this is Black Lives Matter. When they almost told me, when they told me I was going to go to Rikers, I cried a lot. Because truthfully, I don't feel like anybody understands the target that is on our backs when we stand up and decide to speak, right? when there are cameras in my face that I truly fucking hate, right? There is a target on our backs, but I'm not doing this shit for fun. Yeah. I was never doing it for fun. Yeah. And if you are outside for fun, you are not an ally. You are not a co-conspirator. You are an agent of white supremacy. Okay. Yep. I don't have much to say because Nepal says everything all the time. <laughs> She's a fucking genius. But 
if y'all walk away with nothing else, I do want y'all to walk away with the fact, the thought of what will this system look like when we over, what will a new system look like when we overturn this one? That's the conversation we need to start having. What's this new system looks like, right? Because we know we don't want to live under this capitalistic system. So what's next? Socialism? Communism? People get scared of those words. Mutual aid. We build our community of care. Socialism and communism. Don't be scared of those words either. Seriously, don't be scared of those words either. Right? Because people will get up here and speak and, you know, racism this and racism that, right? Like, how the fuck you... Listen. Educate yourself. Educate your peoples. And let's really come up with a plan. Yes. Thank you. Woo! Hey. 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 Hey.